بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. So we talked about the birth of the messenger in the last episode. So inshallah we're going to be talking about his breastfeeding in this episode. In this episode inshallah. So apart from his mother صلى الله عليه وسلم Thuwaiba breastfed the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم. So Thuwaiba was a freed slave of Abu Lahab. Abu Lahab, the uncle of the messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Abu Lahab, the one who caused the messenger, lano tulali. So she breastfed the messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. She also breastfed uh, Hamza and a son, uh, Masruh, at the same time. So it might be, it may be confusing. How can she breastfeed Hamza? Why Hamza was actually around four years older than the messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So the scholars explained. She breastfed the two at the same time. When Hamza was about to stop breastfeeding that is at the last stage of his breastfeeding cycle why the messenger was just starting to breastfeed after thuwaiba halima to saadia breastfed um the messenger so it was widespread back then a tradition back then that women women from um from smaller villages they will come into bigger towns like makkah to look for infants to take with them to breastfeed and then they will get paid for it so halima to saadia was one of these women she came into makkah with her husband al harith bin abdul uzza bin bani hawazin from bani hawazin so she found the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and but she was unwilling to take him why because it was an orphan already don't forget we talked about this in our last episode to wufia abuhu wa ummu hublabi that is his father died why his mother was still carrying him in her womb so she had all these concerns are we going to get well paid she had all these concerns is this going to be a, a, a good sign a good is is this a good omen so she decided to to go ahead and look for another infant to take but fortunately for her, let me say fortunately for her she was unable to get another baby so she decided to go back to amina to the family that don't worry i'll take him so she took the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they went back to the village so from their return back to the village and to when they settled down in the village they saw so many huge signs so many blessings that proved to them that actually taking muhammad is actually a very good um decision um we made uh and we've had a lot of baraka from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so they actually so much enjoyed his stay so after two years uh after his winning when he was supposed to go back to makkah to his mother so she reluctantly took him back to makkah but she had it in her mind to convince amina to let him go back to uh to to the village with her eventually she was she was able to convince amina but not long after that when they when they returned um something happened so all of a sudden um some children they came running to halima to asadiya and they say inna muhammadan qad qutil muhammad has been killed muhammad has been killed so with um with so much fright and so scared halima to asadiya she ran to the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and she she discovered it was so pale and they actually saw sign that uh, something happened to him on his chest so this was when um two angels they came to 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 the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they split uh they splitted his chest wide upon washed his heart and they extracted a black vein from from him from from his heart and one of the one of the angels said to him hadha hadhun shaitan mink this is the portion this is the part of shaitan in you that is we have removed it 